Signing Kurt Busch leads lap number four here today in Daytona. And look at that number one machine go. And here they come into turn one. Oh, trouble. Big crash in turn number two. Corey LaJoy's on the outside wall. Amarola's there in well, as well. And the big one happens in the middle of turns one and two. And a lot of good race cars taken out of this race early here in Daytona. Denny Hamlin, Martin Strix Jr., Chris Busch. As quick as they can. I see what happened here heading into turn number one. It was almost too quick to notice as it happened. You see the 10 car had a really big run through the middle, and it looked like Corey LaJoy might have been trying to block, and that hooked him into the 10 car, and they went up into the outside wall. And uh, here it is again in turn number one. You see the 7 drift up the racetrack, probably trying to get in front of that 10, and hooked him into the outside wall. How about Martin Strix Jr. slamming on the brakes? Side by side are those Bush brothers, and falling back on that outside lane, trying to regroup is the aid of Tyler Reddick with help from Anthony Alfredo. They're on that third lane trying to regroup, and there's trouble right behind them. One car up and over, and it's Ryan Blaney, and he barrel rolls out of turn number four, and the caution is back out, and Eric Jones, Alex Bowman, and it looks like Chase Elliott are involved in this crash as well, and we're back under caution here on lap number 10 in Daytona. See what happened here, entering turn number three, Oh man, it looks like the 9 car tried to get to the inside of Alex Bowman and uh, hooked him down into the number 12 of Ryan Blaney, which sent him tumbling towards the outside wall. You see here once again, looks like yeah, the 9 went down, dove low, trying to get to the inside, and uh, the 48 uh, seemed to have the same idea, and they just came together there. Front stretch, Kyle Busch continues to lead, William Byron trying to chase him down. Oh, trouble, turn around for Kurt Busch into the outside wall, a vicious hit. And a big crash brings out the first caution of the race here in Charlotte. Kurt Busch hard into the outside retaining wall and comes to a rest right at the entrance to pit lane. Just about hit the entrance to the, <laughs> the wall on the outside of the pit lane right there. And uh, man, let's see how this happened. This was a very quick incident right here. It looks like he is on the inside of Denny Hamlin. And oh man, he washes up off the corner and makes contact with the 11 car. And it looks like he slams up into the outside wall. You see right here. Yeah, the back end steps out, and then he comes up into the 11 car. Look at the close call by Brad Keselowski to avoid the number one car. Chicane to lead a lot number one of the day, and this rainy race has now been conquered for one lap. Oh, car in the wall, and it's Tyler Reddick. Hard hit on the front right side of that race car, and the first caution is out. Last place for him today, and let's see how it happened. Chase Briscoe dove low to try to get the position, and man, it looked like there was very little traction, and I believe if this race was certainly on the dry conditions, Reddick definitely could have saved that race car. But since there's no traction with these tires, and they're not used to this, Reddick just seemed to not be able to take, keep a hold of his car. In this contact right here, overcorrected hard into that uh, uh, into that wall right out of turn one. And down the back stretch, here's Logano looking to the inside of Martin Trix. He'll make a little bit of contact right there. Logano's into the number 19, and Trix might have a tire going down with two laps to go. Can he hold with Dylan for the final spot? Here they come into turn one. Can he hold on to it? No. Oh, Trix is going to spin, and he's up into the outside retaining wall. And off turn four, Logano's going to easily win this race. Heartbroken is the number 19 of Martin Trix Jr. This move right here cost him a chance at getting some solid points and maybe even a win at the Bristol Dirt Race from Joey Logano diving in, cut the tire down, and on the white flag coming into turn one, the 19 of Martin Trix Jr. spins out and Logano goes on to win. He's going to try to take that position away as Newman leads through. He'll lead lap number one. And it looks like there's going to be a little contact in turn number four. Oh, Corey LaJoy's around, so is Anthony Alfredo. A little bit of contact there as well from Ross Chastain. And the first caution of the day in any of the heats is out. And three cars are out of contention to try to make their way into the main event. And Corey LaJoy's in the wall. Alfredo's there as well. And let's see what happened here coming out of turn four. Oh, man, it looks like LaJoy just slid up. Uh, didn't have very good traction on the rear end of the race car. And... Uh, Slid up into the number 38, and they both got pounded into the wall. Came back in front of the number 42 and collected Ross Chastain. Uh, nothing that the 42 of Chastain could have done. You see just a hard hit into the outside wall. And Newman will be able to retain the lead. Trouble on turn number four. It's Alex Bowman goes for a spin, and he's going to slam the inside wall. And the caution is out for the first time here in Bristol. And Bowman will be able to continue. the. He got that car righted pretty quickly after his spin. Let's see what happened here. They were getting ready to come through lap traffic. Chase Elliott might have checked up, and, new, and uh, Bowman got into the back into the number nine car. 
And uh, coming up off of turn number four, you see right here, he just oh, swipes the right front on his left rear quarter panel and spins out. And green flags back on the air. Newman does not get a very good restart. He's going to run Kyle Larson over the racetrack. Four, one, five almost. Elliott comes through. Here's Larson to the inside. They make contact. Harden to the inside while they spin. And the leaders crash in turn number three. And the yellow flag is back out right off the restart. And numerous of the leaders in this race are out. And heavy damage on the number nine of Chase Elliott Machine entering turn number three. Red flag is now out. The car is now sit on the front straightaway idled as uh, this mess is going to have to be cleaned up. Elliott was the first one to go around out the nose of the five of Kyle Larson. Let's see what happened here as they headed into turn number one. Larson slid up with contact from Newman and Elliott came through. Larson got the run off the top side and... Oh, man, they just came together, the five and the nine cars, and uh, sent the nine spinning wildly down to the inside, retaining wall. And uh, you see the nose uh, damaged heavily there. You see right here, nose is hard under the wall, lifts the left side up, and right into the path of Ryan Newman. Logano finishes up on the hood of the six of Ryan Newman. Briscoe and Bell were also involved, but look at Stenhouse's ev evasive maneuver right there to get through on the inside. Well, a little contact there between the 12 and the 8 machines. And off of turn number 4, here's Keselowski now to the back over the number 8 machine. And he's going to get into him, spinning into the outside wall in turn 1 is Tyler Reddick. And the caution is back out again here in Bristol. Third caution today. And Tyler Reddick hard into the outside retaining wall. And let's see what happened here off of turn 4. The two might have had a really good run. Went to the inside and ah, uh, maybe it, very hard to tell, but contact was definitely made, and it looks like Reddick uh, maybe tried to dive down in front of the two car heading into turn one, and uh, a quarter of the field left here today at the Miscraft Racing Complex, and here's Truex getting around Ryan Newman right there, oh trouble, car around in turn number three, a big crash, Kozlowski around and big impact on the outside wall, your points leader Kozlowski involved in a massive, massive crash in turns three and four, yellow flag is out, and what an incident here in turns three and four. Your Bristol Dirt Race winner, Ricky Sinners Jr. is involved, and a lot of other big names as well. And let's see what happened here. Heading into turn number three, Christopher, uh, uh, excuse me, Brad Keselowski gets turned on the front end of Kirk Busch. Oh, and he makes contact with the 47 and the 11 cars, and everyone's trying to slow up and uh, avoid the mayhem. Gets collected, entering turn number three. I think Kurt Busch might have been trying to get in behind the number two car, and a uh, big impact for the two. You see the left-hand quarter panel. Uh, ripped away from that machine as he made contact with uh, Ricky Zinnage Jr.'s tire. See right there, oh, the back end just gets ripped out from the two car. You see Chris Busher, Tyler Reddick, Alex Bowman once again, but here's Truex looking for third once again on the inside of Chase Sillian. Back to turn three, contact between the leaders, and off turn four, they're going to spin. Oh, Byron and Bell go, go, go around and come to a halt right at the start-finish line. No major contact, and they'll be able to right the ship, but the second caution is out here at the Miscraft, uh, Miscraft Racing Complex Oval. And uh, you see right there, Byron just trying to make move to the inside lane. Gave the 20 a little bit of a tap. Probably trying to perform a bump and run in turns three and four. And got him up loose and just about into the wall. And uh, Bell tried to get a really nice run off the corner and came down on the 24 car right there. Uh, just looks like a racing incident. Um, I wouldn't say that either of these guys have Back down to turn one. Hamlin pounces for third. Oh, William Byron's off course. Locks up the tires and hard into the barriers at the end of the sand trap. Caution is out on lap number three. A big hit for William Byron brings out the first caution here today at the Miscraft Racing Complex. What a huge hit, and he is out of that race car and uh, leaning up against it. What a good sign for him to see him out of that car. As you can see, it locks up, getting into turn one, tried to uh, avoid the nine of the 11 cars, and he did just barely. See, coming down the hill right there. Oh, man, just barely misses the nine car. And down into the sand trap and slams hard into that in, in, into the barrier right there. And uh, that's the second Hendrick car we've seen lock up the tires here today. The third we've seen at this complex. Half a car length down to the back bumper. Into the double left hander. A little bit of contact. Gets the 23 sideways. And he's going to hold on to the lead. Oh, trouble. Big crash for the four. Kevin Harvick and the one of Kurt Busch. Cautions back out on the speedway. And it looks like a massive, massive crash out of the S's here, a high speed corner, uh, tough luck for these two, they were having a good run uh, midway through the season, and uh, Kevin Harvick second in points, and Kurt Busch, uh, it's hard to tell what happened here, looks like Harvick might have been trying to clear the one car coming out of the S's, uh, tough place to run side by side, uh, probably not enough of a replay to really get that much of a uh, Again, off turn four, sliding the tires. Bell out front now. He takes the lead away. Oh, spinners, turn number 
three, and it's Daniel Suarez and Chase Briscoe going around. They will bring out the first caution. They seem to have avoided contact with the outside wall. And let's see what happened to these two machines heading into turn number three. You see Bubba Wallace in the inside, a little bit of contact. Uh, they were coming into turn number three, almost three wide. It seemed like uh, the 99 of Daniel Suarez was on the inside of Chase Briscoe. Uh, maybe Briscoe didn't really know they were gonna be three wide entering the corner. And uh, Wallace did not back out right there. They were just in a really awkward position. Uh, uh, Chase Briscoe kind of cut down like he was just... Larson on the outside with a good push from Chase Elliott. He'll take the lead away. Whoa, spinning sideways goes the four. Oh, more contact. Blaney's around. Hard to the inside wall. Back up into traffic and a big crash. Kevin Harvick and Joey Logano are involved as well. Yellow flag. Back out on the front straightaway. Entering turn number one. A massive crash for the 12 of Ryan Blaney who came into this race. The points leader and is going to probably lose that position today. You saw the four right there get really squirrely off the front end of what looked like Kurt Busch, and they all came together eventually into the 12 of Ryan Blaney, who slams the exit, uh, the end of the pit wall there. See a huge push from Kurt Busch. Uh, tried to uh, get the four going, didn't really work out, put him three wide, and a lot of contact with the Penske boys. Uh, began with a lot of quarter panel touching right here. You see it uh, once again. Harder gets sideways. Here comes Kozlowski. Makes contact with Logano. Gets into Harder who gets into Bush. And hard into the wall for Ryan Blaney. Uh, after the one occurred, Bush came up this race here. Get to lap number 12. But never mind. Here comes an attack on the 19 and the 18. Whoa, Harvick gets really sideways with the front bumper of Kyle Larson. Oh, there's more contact. Harvick's in the wall. So with the Chip Ganassi machines. And it looks like Chris Buescher and Brad Kozlowski were involved in the back as well. And the first caution is out here. Coming to lap number six here, Talladega. And a big crash on the front straightaway happens after uh, the 19 and the 18 cars make a move to the inside. And look at Chastain with, with a huge run on the top side of the racetrack. Gets into the back end of Kevin Harvick. Slams him hard into the outside retaining wall. Let's see once again here. They get just really sideways off the front and bumper of the number 42 car. As they try uh, to uh, appease their run and get to the outside around the uh, the Hendrick cars. It might have tried to go four wide, but uh, uh, didn't have enough time to make that move. And uh, here's what happened to Danny Hamlin in turn three. You can see that uh, car uh, lost the right front tire. Sideways went everyone right there. As Larson is able to keep the lead. Oh, there's four wide now. Blaney tried to get in front of Ryan Newman. Didn't work. Here comes Newman up the outside. They're sideways. Oh, into the wall goes Martin Trix Jr. on the front bumper of the 22 of Logano. Eric Jones is involved as well. And the caution is back out here on lap number nine at the Talladega Super Speedway. And a massive crash involving Eric Jones and a couple other drivers, Truex and Logano. They've had it at each other all season, and Truex is upset with Logano. And here's why. Coming off turn number four, Truex came up to the outside trying to get a run. Right up in front of the 22 car, a lot of jostling there. Uh, Logano was all over the back bumper, the number 19 of uh, Martin Truex Jr. And I don't know why Truex thought that Logano was going to help him out, much less keep that car straight, hard into the outside wall. Just an innocent bystander for Eric Jones as these two uh, break off a little bit of heat here at Talladega. Very tough place to do that in the trial at Talladega. Newman barely avoids that crash as only, surprisingly, only three cars were involved in this wreck here on the front straightaway here at Talladega. Blaney up the back bumper of Larson. He looks low. He looks back high. Through turns three and four for the final time. Blaney up top. He'll go back low. Oh, there's contact. Larson's around. Up into the catch fencing and slamming back to the ground as Ryan Blaney will cross the line first as a horrific crash at the front straightaway will take out Kyle Larson and the catch fencing. Caution is out. Checkered flag race is over. And Ryan Blaney's the victor after a massive, massive crash on the front straightaway here at the Talladega Super Speedway. Suarez, and off a turn four, Blaney looked low. He looked back high. Bl Larson tried to block him. And uh, off of turn number four, a heavy, heavy hit into the catch fencing. And that number five car is absolutely demolished. You see that car get sideways right, get hit right there by the nine of Chase Elliott. And that car does a couple spins up in the catch fencing and uh, brought the caution out almost immediately there, calling Blaney the winner. You see right here, once again, up into the catch fencing, nose first, absolutely pirouettes that car around. Uh, luckily, the car did not roll over, but... Back bumper, though, as they come off a of turn number two, here's Brian on the inside. Oh, we got contact and trouble on the front straightaway, and it's Eric Jones going around off the front bumper of what looked like it might have been Ross Chastain. And the caution is out for the first time here today at the Martinsville Speedway. Let's see what happened. Coming off turn number four, you see the 43 and the 42 get together. Uh, the 43 of Eric Jones looked like he might have cut down in front of the number 42 there. Coming off the corner, trying to get as flat of an exit as he could. And uh, right across the nose of the 42 machine right there. And uh, tough luck for the 43 side like of William Byron for second. Oh, we got a car around at turn number one. It's Bubba Wallace hard into the outside retaining wall. The number 23 machine 
uh, pancakes the left side of that racing machine. And uh, tough luck for Bubba Wallace. Had a pretty good run going. You see right here off the front bumper of his best buddy, Ryan Blaney. And uh, hard up into the outside wall of turn number one. Looks like Blaney trying to get down below the 23 car. And they cut in kind of at the same time and contact was made. Uh, I'm sure there was no malicious intent there between those two. But uh, Wallace hard in the outside wall with help from his best bud, Ryan Blaney. Down the backstretch for the final time to turn number three. Here's Larson outside for Bush in, and he slides in front of the field. Big crash off turn number four. Who gets to the line first? That's going to be Kyle Larson winning this race as calamity happens. And turn number four here at Martinsville. Here's Kurt in the final four just like this. A big heartbreak for Kozlowski. Here's how it happened. The two, the, uh, the two leaders got involved in a little bit of a tangle in turns three and four. Kurt Bush got spun on the inside. Washed up the racetrack right there and spun the back end down. Contact from Byron slowed him up. And Hamlin and Kozlowski slid hard into the inside wall. Back to turn one, right up against the outside wall. There goes the teammate spinning sideways back behind him. Christopher Bell goes around right in front of the championship leaders. And somehow they avoid a spinning number 20 machine in turn number one. Let's see what happened here. He just got into the corner a little bit loose. And look at the 19 and the 9 cars just barely avoid making contact with a 20 car. The back end goes around on the 20. Look at the 9. Lock up his tires. And the 19 of Martin Shrake Jr. Here comes Hendrick. Teammates of the outside lane. Three wide for second for Kyle Larson. Trying to look for the championship lead. Oh, trouble back behind him. Hard crash. Up into the air goes the 43 there. Jones. Massive, massive impact from the 42 of Ross Chastain. Caught, caught air off the front end of the 42. A big impact right there. One into the wall. And then one off the front end of the 42. It looks like the 43 was trying to get in line in front of the number 11 car, get below the 22. Oh, off turn four, Larson has the run. Blaney's going to throw the block, and there's contact. Blaney spins hard to the outside retaining wall, and he spins into the grass. Single car, solo spin. Big impact into the outside retaining wall, and the championship hunt for Ryan Blaney is over. No second title for him this season. And let's see how it happened. Off turn four, Larson looked low, looked back high. Blaney tried to cover, and a big impact after that car got squirrely with a little bit of a rear bumper contact from Kyle Larson. Let's see, once he'll, once more, he went below that white line, tried to go back high. The car came out from underneath him and slammed hard, nose first into that outside wall. And look at this, this Menards machine. Hard, just massive impact, lifting the rear tires off the ground.